I truly apologize. I appreciate you for tuning in, but as you can see, I'm bootleg again. <laughs> I am yet again trying to read you this story off of my computer. I thought I would have my whole setup ready after the last video, but alas, I do not. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you, I've tried to read this story now four times. Each time I've attempted, it's been an, at least an hour long uh, because I've shared my opinion and I've come to realize that is the issue. So I've um, made some opinion disappear solution. I got some coffee. It's just regular um, coffee sweetened with black. <laughs> yep, I'm drinking coffee, y'all. Today is, um, it's Tuesday, um, November the 9th, but for me, it's my Friday, so I'm sipping. It's, uh, 5.07 p.m. right now. I do work the overnight shift, um, so I work from 1.20 a.m. to 11.50 a.m., um, and like I said, today is my Friday, so I decided to have some opinion eliminator, in my case, um, and I really just want to read the story, um, I was, I'm nosy, so when I heard of everything that was going on, I wanted to look and see if this has been a pattern, if this has happened before, if anyone had clues, um, and, and when I say anyone, I mean the general public, the fans, um, the production team, everybody involved, um, because I feel like at the end of the day, um, there are multiple, multiple people to blame, not only Travis Scott, uh, he definitely deserves blame, um, the amount I'll leave it up to you. That's a personal kind of problem. For me, like I said, I just wanted to share this story. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> I found it to be interesting. It's very long. Um, and some couple words in here that I don't know how to say because I can't read too good. So when we get there, um, I'm going to say it multiple ways. I'm going to say it at least two times, maybe more. Um, if you hear the right way it's said, you go with that and you ignore the rest. that's it okay appreciate you thank you bye um so this story was written <laughs> i'm sorry i just i hate mispronouncing words and i know it is i'm not gonna give it my energy i'm not gonna look up how you pronounce the words i'm just gonna read the story finally i'm gonna get through it i'm gonna get it off of my shoulders i'm gonna let this shit go and i'm gonna move on to the next story or you know i'll keep up to date but i just i've been trying i've been trying to read this i've been trying to get my opinion and um like i said i did think it was an interesting story because it does does give some good um facts about the past and um, habits and you know patterns and stuff like that so i'm just gonna like i said i'm just gonna go through it hopefully i'll be able to do it in one take please excuse the way i read of course we all make mistakes when we read um stumble over our words and such like that um so yeah but i'm gonna get into it Um, so this story, as you can see, was written um, in the was printed in the Los Angeles Times, um, and the title is for Travis Scott: A History of Chaos at Concerts, followed by a Night of Unspeakable tra Tragedy. Um, as most of you all know, this um, incident happened on Friday in Travis's home state of um, home state of Houston. Um, so this article was actually written on November the 7th. I think I found it yesterday. Um, like I said, I was trying to find articles that um, spoke of previous incidents. I was wondering if he's ever had another concert um, that kind of went the same way. Um, I, I knew it wouldn't be as bad, but that basically would tell you from the get-go that he wasn't... Um, that, that maybe they should have been more careful with his specific concerts. Um, so let's get in Travis Scott's 2019 Netflix documentary look mom I can fly in the aftermath of a particularly volatile May 2017 show at the Walmart Arkansas Music Pavilion in Rogers Arkansas one band one fan beamed at a camera crew while leaning on crutches I survived I survived it's all good they said 
I'm gonna just stop just for a second. I'm not gonna talk about nothing that I read. I'm gonna just let you know that um, the coffee is hitting me, just so you know. <laughs> so if this get real bad, I'm gonna end it. <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna try to make it through. <laughs> Cause to me, I still sound good. I just, I feel good. <laughs> I apologize. Um, I, I do want to say I, I have multiple, like I said, I tried to film this four times. I apologize in each of the videos for giggling and laughing. Um, each of those times it was because I did explain that is just one of my traits. It's one of my nervous tics, just like a lot of other people. When I'm in really uncomfortable situations or I'm upset, I tend to laugh. I tend to giggle. Um, this, unfortunately, is due to the coffee. I'm going to put pictures in right here of what's in my coffee. Oh, I won't put the juice. So I put some grapefruit juice and some pineapple juice. Don't talk about me. Okay, you can talk about me. I don't really care, but just make it funny so we can laugh together. Um, okay, back to the show. I apologize. <laughs> I, I said back to the show. I apologize. Back to the story. I'm, I'm gonna I'm really try to keep it serious because I do think that this matter deserves respect. Um, again, I've had four tr times trying to read this. I've gotten so emotional each of those times. It lasted over an hour when I read this. Um, I, I can't be upset anymore. Um, Honestly, yeah, uh, so I'm going to just leave it at that. I, I just can't. It's my Friday. It's the evening. I just want to relax and enjoy. And this story at the end of the day, because I could not put up those videos, I could not. It, it just got so far off off topic. Um, I just thought this story was so interesting that I do want to share. So again, I apologize for any laughs, any kind of insincerity that you um, may find in any parts of this video. It is not intentional at all. Um, it's really nothing to do with the video. It's more so of me just trying to be lighthearted with my sips because I'm sipping. Um, and um, I just wanted to share this story at the same time. So, you know. Also got some grapefruit I'm snacking on. I'm going to chew real quick. I apologize. All right. Should I stop for the <laughs> Okay, I feel like I should start over. I apologize. At this point, I'm going to really try not to stop. In Travis Scott's 2019 docu Netflix documentary, Look, Mom, I Can Fly. In the aftermath of a particularly volatile May 2017 show at the Walmart, Arkansas Music Pavilion in Rogers, Arkansas, one fan beamed at a camera crew while leaning on crutches. I survived. I survived. It's all good. They say it. Following the show, Scott faced three misdemeanor charges of inciting a riot, disorderly conduct, and endangering the welfare of a minor after he invited fans to overpower security and rush the stage. Scott pleaded guilty to disorderly conduct and had to pay more than $6,000 to two people injured at the show. I just hate getting arrested. Man, that shit is whack. Scott said in the documentary upon his release from jail. As I take another sip. Scott, Scott's talent for staring up, young fan, uh, staring up a young fan, fan base with the fury of an underground punk act has long been a part of his appeal. On his 2018 song, Stargazing, the rapper revealed in his crowd heaving, in his crowds, heaving energy. It ain't a mosh pit if no one is, if ain't no injuries. Let me read that again. If it ain't a mosh pit, it ain't no injuries. Oh, it ain't a mosh pit if it ain't no injuries. That's what it is. Okay. It ain't a mosh pit if it ain't no injuries. Okay. Yet the 30-year-old rapper is also one of the most successful figures in contemporary hip-hop, an endorsement-friendly business mogul in the vein of Jay-Z and Puff Daddy, and one of a handful of rap artists who can headline major festivals. His reputation as an insensitary live performer arguably exceeds his recorded music as the main driver of his current popularity. Sorry, that was the drinking hand that shook the camera. 
What the hell game is that? I thought that was, um, what movie is that? I don't know, I can't remember. I thought it was a movie. But the Pashant, that's one of them words. Pashant. Pension. I've been using talent. All four of the videos I use talent. But the talent for inspiring chaos on stage has led to troubling situations. Long before Friday's Astro World crowd stampeded a uh, stampede disaster that killed eight people and left numerous concert goers injured in Houston. Scott has twice faced criminal charges relating to inciting crowds over into overheated fevers, fevers, fervors, fervors. Again, I say all the words as many times as I can. When I feel like I said it the right way, I just stop. And whichever way is the right way, you pick it out. Now, if I ain't said it the right way. I said it the right way. So you pick one of them ways out and you keep it moving. Because I'm going to keep it moving. Uh, I apologize. <laughs> Before the incident in Arkansas, the rapper pleaded guilty in 2015 to charges of reckless conduct after conjoling fans at Lollapalooza to climb over barricades and onto the stage with him during his show at the Chicago Festival. Now, I'm, I'm going to just, just one second. I'm going to just say, up until this point of reading, it was at least 30 minutes. This next part probably was 30 minutes by itself as well. I never got to the end of the story. I've never gotten to the end of the story. I've gotten, uh, yeah, I've never gotten, I've gotten three quarters of the way to, through. The next part really stumps me each and every time. I have a lot to say, but I'm going to keep it to myself and just share these words. I apologize. Let me take another sip. And let me take another one. Woo. Okay. That was good. Okay. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I apologize. Let me read that last paragraph again. Scott has faced twice has twice to face criminal charges related to inciting crowds into overheated fevers. Fevers. I know how to spell fevers. That's what the confusion is. Fervors. I don't know what this word is though. But if you overheat it in a crowd, I don't know. Maybe that's the plural word that I've ever seen. I'm special. I don't, I don't know these words. Before the incident in Arkansas, the rapper pleaded guilty to 2015 charges of reckless conduct after conjoling fans at Lollapalooza. Okay. After conjoling fans at Lollapalooza to climb over barricades and onto the stage with him during his show at the Chicago Festival. Okay. Okay. Quote. Everyone in a green shirt, get the fuck back. End quote, Scott said, referencing the festival's security squad staff. Quote, middle finger up to security right now. End quote. He then led the crowd in a chant of, quote, we want rage. End quote. <laughs> I'm just resting my head on the mic. Um... What is this thing that's sitting in front of the mic? I need to stop sipping already. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. Oh, man. Scott often refers to his fans as Rachers. Scott suffers. <laughs> okay, so this is... I'm not going to say anything, but this is what happened directly after he conjoled the fans at Lollapalooza to jump over the barriers. I mean, over the barricades. And come on the stage with him. He say fuck the security. He told the security to get the fuck back. Give him the middle finger. All that kind of stuff. This is what happens directly after. Scott's set Scott's set lasted barely five minutes. Whereupon he fled the scene and was soon apprehended by local police. I, I promise just one question. Where, where was you going? I don't understand the problem. The people did what you asked them to do, and then you left. What happened? But what happened? But what happened? They thought you wanted to be in the marsh pit with them. But what happened? Where was you going? Okay, I apologize, and I promise that's going to be it. Um, If I can read that again, that's the only way that'll be it. Scott's sat lasted barely five minutes. Whereupon he fled the scene and was soon apprehended by local police. A judge ordered him under court supervision for a year following his guilty plea. All my words is, is blurry right now. And they double. I apologize while I pick up the drink and I sip again. 
because now I'm trying to fight that blurriness. It's making me dizzy, so I need a drink because the dizziness is going to go away with the drink. Mm -hmm. Don't think about it too hot. So I need to take a drink because this next part really, um, y'all, you don't know how hard it is for me to not have an opinion. So I have to take sips of the opinion. Um, let me, <laughs> that was the opinion reducer. It's taking on different names. All right. I apologize. I'm trying to keep my eyes open, keep it together. I'm real hot right now. It's real hot. I got real low tolerance to alcohol. <laughs> so this is a struggle for me all the way around. But I'm feeling hot. I'm feeling good. <laughs> Shout out to Snoop. <laughs> In April 2017, a man named Kyle Green sued Scott after he attended a show at Terminal 5 in New York City where Green claims fans pushed him off an upper deck balcony. A different fan jumped from the same balcony in a widely seen video after Scott pointed him out and encouraged him to leap off. Quote, from Mr. Travis Scott himself on stage with the mic and the spotlight. I see you, but are you going to do it? End quote. Scott said from the stage. <laughs> quote, they're going to catch you. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. End quote. Green was left partially paralyzed by the incident. Reached by Rolling Stone after the Astro World incident, an attorney for Green said that he's devastated and heartbroken for those families of those who were killed and for those individuals who were severely injured. He's even more incensed by the fact that it could have been avoided. Travis lear uh, Had Travis learned his lesson in the past, and changed his attitude about inciting people to behave in such a reckless manner. In 2019, Scott wrote, Do youth dim control the frequency? On an Instagram video of fans storming barricades at one of his shows. In response to an Instagram video of fans storming barricades at one of his shows, he wrote, Do youth dim control the frequency? Okay. Everyone have fun. Ray just set the tone when I come out tonight. Be safe, rage hard. If I could do the screen the way I want it to, I would. But since I can't, I'm going to skip it. Three people were hospitalized, hospitalized following a crowd stampede over security barriers at the 2019 edition of Astro World Festival of the Astro World Festival. The 30-year-old Scott, whose real name's I believe his name is Jock. I said Jock Quis in one of my videos that I recorded, but then I was watching something else and someone else said Jock. So I'm gonna do the same thing I do with all my videos. I mean all my other words. The 30-year-old Scott, whose real name is Jock, Jacquis, Jacquis, Jacquis. Uh, yeah, all them things. Webster was born in Houston. <laughs> A famed city for outlaw hip hop that figures prominently in his work his chart topping 2000 see this is why i couldn't really finish it because a lot of the rest of the stuff it, 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 to me it promotes him and it, it gives backstory of his successes and such like that um i was really looking for a story that um really was just straight facts i i i don't need you to boast them up i don't need you to make them look better in the media's eye um i'm really just looking for facts um yeah, this, this made me sad. This made me sad. 